Wake up! Hey all my beautiful peeps and TGIM. Thank God it's Monday! Yeah, you heard me right, TGIM. I know we all love to use that phrase, TGIF, and we blow it up on Facebook and Twitter all the time. Thank the Lord my week is over. Ooh, I had a stressful week, blah, blah, blah. TGIF, I'm going doing this. But I actually want to try something different. And I want to say TGIM, and I encourage you all to do the same, because I am a firm believer in the way we start the week, we will finish. So if we start strong, positive, encouraging, and enlightening the world, that's the way we'll end the week. Now, in between the time, we may have some challenges, but you know what? That's what we call life. And this is my life lessons blog, and it's all about Keisha's life lessons. So make sure that you join me every Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, because I am on the East Coast. But this is basically a 15-minute, yes, I said 15-minute video blog that will actually share some enlightenments and things that I may encounter, that I may encounter the previous week or previous day, and how I'm actually going to apply them to the life that I will deal with this week coming. So make sure you take some notes, share with a friend, tell them all about it, and get more people to come and join with me. And I want you to share your experiences as well. So you can tweet me, text me, Facebook me, all that you want to share how you like this first. And number two, be able to share with me, you know, how you were able to take some of the things that I spoke about and apply to your life to live a more fulfilled, beautiful, and more enlightening life every single day. So I believe in order to actually go forward, press forward, move on, you know, we sometimes have to take a moment to reflect back. So what I am going to do is actually reflect back on some moments that I may have had the previous week and share with you all how I actually overcame them. Don't that sound good, right? I know you won't listen. Keep on listening. So let's think about what my week was like last week. I actually had a pretty good week. You know, I actually live life, you know, I'm one of those people that try to live in the moments and enjoy every moment that comes across us because we never know when those moments will end. I'm a big quote person, so I'm all about live life as if it was your last. Enjoy these moments. You don't know when you're going to get another one. Tell someone you love them. Hug them and show them how you feel. You have no idea when they'll be taken away from you. That's the type of person I am, just to give you a little bit of insight. So, you know, I'm really about living in the moment and having a great time and enjoying every moment. Um, almost, always. But you heard me say almost, right? Because I'm human too, and sometimes I have those days. And one of those days for me last week was actually on Thursday, which was actually... Valentine's Day. Now, let me pause and tell you guys, I'm not one of those people. I haven't celebrated Valentine's Day and I don't know how long. I don't have a companion at this moment. It's not really that interesting to me because I believe in celebrating love every single day. But I actually had a moment on Thursday. So let's talk about that. My moment actually had to deal with um, the matters of the heart. I like to think that there was no correlation to it being Valentine's Day and me dealing with the matters of the heart. I may just be fooling myself. Don't tell nobody. But uh, <laughs> I'm still going to share with you how I actually dealt with it and how I overcame. And when I think about it more and more, I realized, you know, diving deeper, that it wasn't just about the matters of the heart that I was dealing with. It was actually dealing with the fear of being able to share and showcase my feelings to other people. And how I overcame that because one of the best things that happened to me last week, I felt a breakthrough. Yes, I felt a breakthrough. I felt very encouraged and inspired right after the situation happened. And that's the reason why I want to share this experience with you. So on Thursday, I awoke. It was a beautiful day. I was just so happy and overjoyed when I awoke. So, you know, I awoke smiling. Oh, good morning, God. Thank you for giving me another day. Yes, I praise him. So, you know, I, I, I was very thankful for being up. And, you know, I awoke and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go do my jog. I had been on vacation for about 12 days. I was back in Texas and I didn't jog not one bit while I was there. 
So I had to get back on it, especially with me so-called um, training for a marathon. That's a whole nother video blog. We talk about that another time. Let me get back to the matters of the fact. So um, anyway, discussing the matters of the heart, you know, it felt really great. I awoke and I was like, I'm going to go do my jog. And that's nothing out of the norm, guys. I do jog. I like to, actually. So, you know, um, the only difference that day was uh, it was 36 degree New York weather. New York weather's a little bit different from Texas weather. Just so y'all know. Just a little cold. Just a little bit. But anyway, so, you know, I layered up and I got ready, put on my iPod, and I was like, it's time to go. I started my playlist, and yes, it was Beyonce, because I love me some B. Hey, B. Bless you and the baby B. Oh, and Hove. Bless you too. So anyway, so you know, I put on my Beyonce. I love be I love to listen to Beyonce when I'm running because she gives you music that helps you move. You know, get me body, I want somebody. Get, okay, anyway, you know the song. So anyway, I'm listening to her jogging, enjoying my jog. I did three miles. I came back to the house and was still inspired. I listened to music all day long. It was beautiful. Beautiful. No, I didn't turn on the TV. I don't have a TV. I know some people find that strange, but listen, peeps. People have lived without television for many of days. This is nothing new. I choose not to have one because I'm focused on my goal, which is being completely successful, and so I eliminate some distractions. Anyway, that's another blog as well. So I had a wonderful day, and then night fell came, as it does. And I laid in my beautiful bed, you guys see behind me, and um, I was reading, which I do. I, I like to read, you know, when going to bed. And then all of a sudden, unexpectedly, those moments came. You know those moments. You know them thoughts. Or maybe you don't because you're happily married or you've been with your companion for many years and you have no complaints because you actually are laying next to someone in your bed. Guess what? I'm not. So I had those moments. <laughs> so to all my single females and males, I know you've had them so you could probably relate. Um, but so anyway, you know, those moments came and I started having all of these thoughts. It was just overflowing. Thoughts like, when? Why? And how much longer, Lord, am I going to have to wait for what we consider to be the one? Look, I'm a chick that don't think nothing is wrong with little cuddling and little bingo. You know how the grandmother of the other professor said, I don't see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I guess it's just not my time at this moment. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, I was having those moments of when, why, how long, and, you know, I just had these feelings, and I was trying to block them out. No, no, I'm not going to cry. Oh, no, I can't do it. Oh, I'm so dramatic, by the way. But so anyway, you know, I was trying to block those feelings because I'm one of those people who typically don't like to share my personal feelings with people. Now... I will share a lot about how to become successful, you know, go after yours, go after your dreams, inspire and motivate you. That's what I do best. But I had, I have some opportunity in showcasing my feelings to be more relatable to people. So with that being said, this is one of my ways of overcoming, which now I have this video blog of Keisha's Life Lessons. So, you know, I, I wrote, which that's what I do. I like to write. You know, God bless me with that talent. Thank you, Lord. So, you know, I wrote and I was sharing my feelings. And then I did something that I never do, which is I shared my feelings with the world. I have a blog and I wrote a poem and I put it on my blog. If you don't know my blog, make sure you read the information below. It's Keisha's Shared Thoughts dot com. Make sure you go and read in your spare time, share with a friend, you know, share the link and also like it so I can continue to build my fan base. But anyway, so, you know, I, I put my feelings out there and something amazing happened right after I did that, which was I felt a sense of release. And let me tell you guys, 
it was very hard for me to get to that point to actually be able to share how I was feeling with other people. And so I felt like at that moment, I did something that was wonderful, which was I kicked fear in the face. I kicked fears, but I I put all that fear aside. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to jump. I'm just going to leap and do it. I'm going to live by my testament, which I share with everyone, which is just to do yours. You know, go after yours, do yours. Don't be afraid. And that time I didn't showcase any, you know, fear because I was like, I'm just going to do it. And I pressed send. And right afterwards, I felt a sense of relief. And so, you know, what I learned, my life lesson from that was sometimes you have to kick fear in the face in order for your courage to be showcased. And I, oh, wait, that's a good quote. I'm going to use that for the end. Okay, so anyway, you know, I realized with doing that, I felt a sense of freedom, kicking fear in the face. I felt a sense of freedom and it empowered me to want to share more. So that what that's what led to this. And I am encouraging you all, no matter what your situation may be, it may not be dealing with the matters of the heart. It may be something such as, you know, getting ready to leave your job, your nine to five, in order to focus solely on what your career is, being that record producer that you always dreamed of, you know, going after yours and starting that homemaking business. You know, it may be something like that. But I just want to encourage you all to kick fear in the face in order for your courage to be showcased. Don't be afraid to feel how you want to feel. If you want to cry, cry. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We're human. And I'm so happy that I actually showcased that humanness because let me just tell y'all, I am sick and tired of my family thinking I'm a superhero. They think I don't have no feelings. They think I'm the strongest woman in America. And I appreciate those compliments. But I don't actually agree with them because it's not true. I'm human. I feel too. But I realize that by me closing off myself and not sharing those feelings and not sharing more about my personal life, I was blocking people away from seeing the humanness of me. So I was like, dude, you're 23. It's time for you to just jump out there. I'm not really 23, y'all. But anyway, you know, you're at an age where it's time for you to just jump out there and just do it and empower the rest of them to do the same. So I hope that you gain something from it, you know, something from this blog. Even if you didn't, you know, I hope that you know someone that may pull something from it and you share it with them. Or if not, at least you find it comical because I feel like I'm a little bit funny. Uh, You may not, and that's okay. You don't have to join next week. But I still send you blessings. Anyway, so I hope that you were able to pull something from it because the life lesson is, as I stated, sometimes you just have to do it naked. Sometimes you just have to do it strong and be bold and just put yourself out there and see what the reward will be. Because you don't know what you're going to receive until you actually do it. And for me, I actually feel a sense of empowerment. I feel strong. I feel courageous. I feel like I can do it all. I can actually do that marathon that I've already signed up and paid my money for on March 17th. You know, (laughs) I can do whatever I put my mind to. And it's because I'm not going to allow fear to stand in my way. So with that being said, I just want to wrap up and tell you all, you can text me, tweet me, you know, Facebook me. All of the information is below. Share with me, number one, what your thoughts are about this blog, but also share with me how you're going to kick fear in the face and how you're going to continue to move forward and press forward to what God has for you. Because I know that there is something great inside of you. And all we need to do is actually step out of our own way. And allow ourselves to just leap and enjoy what's to come. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and a fantabulous week. Be sure to tell me all about it, okay? Join me next Monday. Every Monday, remember, 9 a.m. Eastern, I will post this video blog for you all to see. Share with your friends. And I wish you the best. You guys be blessed. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.